Welcome to the Learning Life Show. My name is Susan and I'm the host. My special guest today is Peter Serrano. Hi, how are you doing? Hi, I'm fine, I'm fine. Um, well, first of all, um, we are here at the Learning Life Foundation. And um, Peter, without trying to figure out your age or anything, how long have you been in this business? Uh, in the business itself? Yeah. Well, it's going close to 40 years, but 40 years. I've been here at the foundation, I think around 34 years teaching and stuff. Uh-huh, so 40 years. And when did you start teaching? When I started teaching, uh, about 28 years ago. So. <laughs> I'm trying to add him up so I get his age. <laughs> you want to know how old I am? No, I was, I was saying, I'm not trying to get your age, but I was trying I'll to get I'll tell you how old I am. Okay, how old are you? 65. 65, wow. Doesn't he look young for 65? Yeah. Are you really? Yeah, I still but ride wait. a skateboard, too. You ride a skateboard? You said 28 years plus 40. So. No, I didn't say plus 40. You said oh, okay. <laughs> all right, 65, all right, great. And yeah. you ride the skateboard. Um, so what kind of classes do you teach? Tell us a little bit about your uh, My class is called The Gathering. Uh, it's a okay. psychic development class. Mm -hmm. uh, it's different than other classes, whereas students are welcome at any time. And basically what I do, I just turn it over to the spirit. The spirit directs me what to teach, etc. Mm -hmm. uh, and I teach two basic forms of meditation. One is what I call uh, level one or the hand meditation, which aligns your chakras. Okay. Okay. And then from there we go right into the chakra meditation. And it's in a circle. And the reason why I like a circle, if someone is weak in a certain area or chakra, okay. the rest of the group pulls that energy up for them. Oh, all right. You see, okay. so I have students, for instance, for the first time ever, will see things or experience things. Okay. And uh, another thing, sometimes I tell the people, I say, sometimes phenomena will happen in the class. Mm -hmm. And uh, a few weeks ago, I had a student in there, a young man and stuff, and I said that before the class was getting ready to get go. And as we went around the circle, it came out that he was cheating in school or something, right? Hmm. And the fan on the, on, on the wall flew across the room. And I looked at him and I said, boy, you got someone pissed off at you. Uh-oh. You uh -huh. see? So it gives you an idea about the wow. phenomenon. Sometimes okay. chairs will slide across wow. the room, things of that nature. It doesn't happen all the time. Uh -huh. But I like to tell people ahead of time, so if it does happen, they don't get all freaked out about it. Well, when you say a chair would slide across, what is what exactly? Yeah, you know, the chair would be sitting by itself over there, and then the class all of a sudden will just slide about two, wow. three feet or so towards the circle. Wow! Now, do you think it's an energy trying to, to join? Or yeah, what? yeah, it's oh. a spirit, but it's positive. We should only ask for the highest vibration and mm -hmm. the highest vibrations only. Wow. So when you're in a circle, you are protected. Yes, that's right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So you have these. Wow, that's that's yeah. really interesting. So another way I look at the class as almost like a church in a way. Okay. Uh, and so in the beginning, I let people ask questions. I answer those questions, and then I talk about what's going on during Cosmos and with you know the week, et cetera, et cetera. And then we go into meditation. Mm -hmm. People get the information. We okay. talk about it, and then I decipher it or interpret it. And plus, I get more information that makes more clarity. And then plus, other students in the circle may get things for other students in the circle as well. Mm -hmm. And then towards the end, what I do is, if anybody's like in pain or they got some problems, I'll go around and do actual healing work on them and clear okay. and clear the energy. Okay. Um, when you say they ask questions, in other words, when they come to your class, mm -hmm. they are asking questions like kind of like a, in a reading manner or something. Yeah, exactly, in exactly. Oh, all right. Oh, like how, how is my legal case going to come down? You know, mm -hmm. am I going to get this job or which job should I apply for? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How about a move? When's my move going to happen? When's my house going to sell? Okay. Uh -huh. Things of that nature. Okay, and yeah. so you say at the beginning you you actually do two meditations, one kind right. of to balance them. Right. One, no, not balance, it aligns. Aligns. I don't okay. care who you are, I don't care how evolved you are, mm -hmm. in this world just going around, your your chakras get out of whack. Yes, that's true. Yeah. You see? Mm -hmm. So the first thing is put things back into balance and then from that point going right into the chakras. Okay. You see? okay. See, a lot of people do the chakra meditation, but if you're not in total balance, mm 
Mm -hmm. it, it's not gonna it's not gonna connect right. Okay. All right. You see? Okay. No, that sounds interesting. So it okay. seems like when they do. Now I have my own style, I guess. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then it seems like they come in with their questions, so they basically right. really get a, a reading. And I, yeah, and I've had people tell me they've been in meditation classes before, and never felt or experienced or seen anything before, but in my class they wind up. Well, yeah, if there's chairs moving around. Again, it doesn't around. happen all the time. I mean, I can't tell you what's going to happen. True. There was one time, though, a few years back, about two years or so ago, I didn't know what was going on, but it was almost comical because uh, you know the rooms here, the upstairs big room back there, all the windows were going boom, 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 and the big double doors on both ends were going wham, bam, bam, bam. <laughs> I mean, seriously, wow. throughout the whole class, it really? was just like, whoa, what's going on? Huh, yeah. That's, that is interesting. Yeah. Now, I know there's lots of different things that you do, but you, we were talking earlier about um, you've done some very accurate predictions. That's correct. Yeah. yeah, can you give us a few? And one thing that we're going to get, I'm going to get this information from Peter right now, but in the next video, he's going to do some predictions for 2013. So um, okay. let's see how much I can get in on this first video as far as your All right. accurate predictions. Uh, well, for instance, on the World Trade Center, that big event, you know, mm -hmm. I did that six months prior and actually was here in the foundation in my class. Oh, wow. Again, okay. talking about a big event that was going to change our way of life, et cetera, et cetera. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, then there was the tsunami in the Pacific. Mm -hmm. That was like very specific that it was a big tidal wave hitting all across, 800 mile thing in the Pacific. And that was about three months before it happened. And then the last one was that big earthquake in Japan. Mm -hmm. And that was again here in the class. But this time I actually drew a picture of Japan on the board and talked about this big earthquake that was about to take place, et cetera, and then three days later, wow. wham, it hits. Wow. Yeah. That's amazing. Um, just so, when are your classes here at the Learning Light Foundation? Uh, they're on every Wednesday night uh, at 7 o'clock. That doesn't get on the get-go until around 7.30, but this coming year I plan on doing some other extra classes, possibly more advanced classes, mm -hmm. and then I'm thinking about doing one uh, night in the month just doing healing work. Yeah, that sounds good. And healing You're, demonstrations, yeah. No, I, I saw you at the last psychic fair, so are you here doing things or are you, I mean, are you here at the psychic fairs at the Learning Light or are you? Uh, yeah, are you yeah, out? I'm not sure a lot here at the fair, but there's no guarantee because I get really busy a lot of times. You know, I do a lot of travel. My last oh. travel was up in Columbia, California, this old, it's a mm -hmm. park now. But it's an old western town. I did a seance up there. Wow. And uh, huh. and I I had a feeling they weren't going to pull it off right. So they had the round table and stuff, people to sit around, but then they had an audience. Mm -hmm. That's not a traditional seance. So I told okay. them up front, this is not going to do it, but I can still pull it off. Mm -hmm. And I did. Okay. All right. Um, as the next video, we are going to get some predictions from Peter. Um, we do have the Psychic Fairs every second Saturday of the month here at the Learning Light Foundation. Also, they got their whole roof fixed. It's, it's totally awesome. Um, you definitely need to check it out. Um, actually, Finally. yes, yes. Um, and um, so make sure to come to the next video and we'll see you there.